After seeking the blessings of the Gomateshwara, it's time to move further down into the district to live the high life in Coorg. You hear so much about the coffee plantations and the famous Coog hospitality and I'm just headed to get a taste of that. I've been invited by Mr. Appaya to join in in the festivities of Kailpod and I'm telling you, I can all tell After experiencing the wonderful festivities of Kailpod, it was time to get familiar with the terrain. It was time to get to know Coog for what it really is, the coffee plantations. Another absolute must-do is the Irpu Falls when you're in Coog. It's small, it's quaint and almost non-descriptive, but once you're there, you are completely taken in by it and I assure you, you will be completely soaked in too. I'm just outside Kushalnagar in Bailkupe and I'm at the Namdraling Monastery which was set up back in 1963 by His Holiness Pinor Rinpoche after the unrest in Tibet when he came here. Once you enter this monastery, you will be transformed and transported to Tibet, literally. This beautiful monastery takes you back to a time of peace and kindness and that's what Bailkupe is about. It's not just a centre of religion, it's a centre of giving, of teaching and peace and that's what I'm here to explore. A visit to this prayer hall really can be such a strongly spiritual experience to be able to go in there and witness, you know, a sea of orange and red robes praying in unison. And when you're standing there in front of the three Buddhas, it truly is an indescribable feeling. It's an unexpected end to a visit to Coog, and a simple and beautiful one. And from here on, it's time to explore the jungles of Kabini. It's early in the morning and we're off on a safari. There's a bit of a chill in the air and everything smells fresh. And right now I'm with Prasanna. Hi Prasanna. Hi, I'm Prasanna. I'm working here as a naturalist in Kabini River Lodge. Okay. Now we are going towards the southern part of Nagarahul. Right. What an absolutely great start, Prasanna. I can't believe that yeah. just at the absolute beginning, 
we meet a mother and a calf and she actually stopped and stared at us and called her son on. I think it's going to be the beginning of a great safari so let's not yeah. waste any more time and head right off. Okay. The Nagarhole Forest Reserve is famous for its sightings. At almost any time of the year, you can be sure to spot a herd of elephants, wild cats like the tigers and the leopards, and even the great Indian gore. And of course, there's always an abundance of deer and peacocks. I must say, it's such a wonderful experience to be able to drive through this forest because it's green, it's absolutely beautiful, and of course, there's always the possibility of a wild encounter.